All right, guys, today we are going to be reacting to Andrew Lecture's post war woman. What men need. Let's jump in. You said you want to be submissive to men and follow his lead, but that doesn't mean that I shouldn't have any input that should be fairly considered in big decisions. Does negotiation and compromise have a place in relationship? How does that fit into absolute submission? Andrew probably would like to have a back and forth with you on this one. Um, it, and can I add something to that? Sure. Um, because this is something that we talked about earlier. What if I'm the primary income earner in a relationship? And maybe that's not ideal, but when it comes to abs, if I was the if I was more of the provider, would the expectation of the role change? Like, or would I be expected to relinquish all of my income to the man to make decisions if with it? I yes, you would, yeah. and if, I'll explain why. Let, I, I'll one just thing die alone. Quick, first though. <laughs> If I were to start dating Kylie Jenner, yeah, she's going to listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> I will explain Anyways. my rationale before you say you want to die alone. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, and I, I, I like hearing so, your yeah, point let's of view. Start, let's start with this. If you had to put a value on, on something, what is the most valuable thing you can think of? The most valuable thing you could ever envision, the thing which, if it's taken away, can never be gotten back. I would say, I would say life. Life, okay. I'd say life. Would you disagree with that? No, you can never get that back. Yeah, right. Once it's taken, you can never yeah. get it back. Yeah. A man's obligation is to die on your behalf. So if there's a threat or a danger to you, it's jobs to die before you die. You cannot replace that. Mm. So he cannot be replaced by anything else because his job is to sacrifice himself for you. So you give up the money and you give up the control, you give up the power. But the exchange to all of that is that when the lifeboats go off of the Titanic, who gets in them first? Who gets in them first? Women and children. Yeah, women and children. So if the man is to be the sacrifice for you, he gives his life for you, then why is it problematic for you to turn over the dominance in a relationship to him? Mm. I don't want to be the dominant, but especially if I'm the breadwinner, I would want significant consideration yeah, die for, for my... Women don't die for men. Ever. They don't ever die for men. Men die for women all the time, nonstop. Women do not sacrifice their lives for men. You can't show me a historic standard anywhere where that's ever happened. They don't do it. There may be some exceptions where some woman has done self-sacrifice on behalf of a man for her life versus his. Essentially, it never happens. I mean, for all practical purposes, men are always the ones who give up their lives on behalf of women and children. Their actual life. Now, uh, you can make an argument that, well, a woman gives up her life over years of time and blah, 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 but that would apply <laughs> to men, too. Men That's actually fine. lay their lives down. All right, the, the reason he did that is what we call dealing with the rebuttal, dealing with the rebuttal up front. So he's already dealing with the rebuttal that he knows that she might say. By doing that, now he's basically, he's basically taking ammunition out of her pocket so now she has no ammunition in her pocket because that's what they do they say well there's one situation here not in 1842 in, in uh, i don't know in northern russia you know what i'm saying they go to these extreme examples that they don't they don't really contribute anything to the conversation but what they do actually it just send the conversation back to the beginning by him doing that it just shows you the importance of dealing with obstacles up front Defense of you, defense of the nation, defense of your home, defense of your honor, defense of your pride, defense of your name. They lay their lives down for everything. Here's an example of this, right? I just want to ask the panel, and we can ask the entire panel this question, and I think that through this, we'll be able to reason this out. If a man who you are with, you're walking down the street, and another man insults your honor, do you think that it's appropriate, and would you want the man that you're with to protect your honor. Meaning, if uh, a man you're with, you're walking down the street arm in arm, and another guy comes by and pinches your ass, 
Don't you prefer that your man turns around and smacks him across the mouth? Raise a hand. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And when does that happen? In, about and this, and hang on, when does that happen in reverse? Not often. So the thing is that men are always there putting, now by the way, a physical confrontation with another man doing that on your behalf leads to death. It leads to death for men. Just protecting your honor leads to death for men all the time. In fact, more men in the United States are killed with feet and hands than they are with AR-15s because this is such a happenstance. It happens so often that men engage in physical combat with each other all the often time. on behalf of women's honor. This does not happen in reverse. So since that is the case, yeah, give up your money. Yeah, give up your money, give up your control, because that's what you get in exchange. We don't get that in exchange. Who's dying for us? Not you. Damn. Not women. Women are dying for men. Show me where women are collectively dying for men. Anywhere. Ever. Damn. Nowhere. Nowhere. He Go wrote ahead. her. I'm waiting. I want to hear Not an giving birth to their child. Ah, shut up. When collectively... Can you guys name that women have ever died on behalf of men? Laid their lives down on behalf of men. Give me childbirth. No, they don't do it. During childbirth, they're not doing it on behalf of men. They're doing it on behalf of their children. They're doing it on behalf of their um, I think children. women are doing it on behalf of the baby that their man... Oh my God. Did this fake blonde say something that has nothing to do with the conversation? You see what I'm saying? Childbirth. We went from literally... Putting your body in front of a family, in front of a woman, to childbirth. Wow! They need to be right. They need to be right. Has to be there, huh? And put inside of them. So I yeah, would so argue the that baby, they are doing yes, it for men. Baby, and a man is not now, physically now capable do of that. doing that. Now they kill their children. Now they kill them. They don't even bother having them anymore. Okay, wait, nobody so was talking about that. Ah, <laughs> now you don't want to talk about that, huh? Now when he, when see you you brought the topic, now you don't want to talk about that. Okay. We're talking about that. Isn't you half of say, the baby's you masculine? Saying that, you saying that you right, will look at this your dumb child. Broad the, You're not doing on that left. on behalf of your man. That's insanity. But a child can um, be a man as well, right? And, and you're what? killing like him. You're a man, like okay. And you're, you're deleting him. Yeah, we're talking about somebody who is doing the thing for the purpose of the protection. And let me just mention something. You notice how these two girls has to jump in? Have you guys, guys noticed that? Because the lady in the middle is getting cooked. And she's the oldest one. So she had more reason to think about things, right? And all of a sudden, these two, are have, they have to jump in. You know why? Because she's getting cooked. They don't want to see her suffer like that. That's why they're jumping in. And they're, they're literally telling her, I'm protecting you. I'm protecting you. She's getting cooked. Look at her. Look at her. And they had to jump in to say these stupid stuff. They're just, it's just basically obstacles at this point. ...of X thing. Men lay their lives down and the historic standard that I can appeal to is that men collectively always lay their lives down for women and so children. So protecting your the baby? Reverse, there we go. Stop. Let me finish. The reverse never yeah, happens. Them. Point to me where the reverse ever happens. Okay, so protecting your baby by giving childbirth isn't enough. I don't even know what that means. What does that even mean? So abortion or not, it's, it's the same? What? It's not yeah, protecting no, your it's child not the same. if you give but you're, birth? But if you're bearing, you're bearing your child, you're not doing that on behalf of your man, you're doing that on behalf of you and the child. Yeah, so a child can be a man as well, right? Yeah, lady, it's just, oh my goodness, it's just this, oh, yeah, yeah. She doesn't speak in the entire podcast, I guess, right? In the videos that we watched so far. But when she opens her mouth, it's just, it's just, oh my goodness, putrefy, I guess. Her arguments are just bad, man. Bad. They have to just put it down to what they think is more valuable. A guy giving their life, protecting their family, and it's protecting their family, producing for the family, creating for the family, but childbirth. I'm, we're not saying that there's no value for that. Yeah, of course. But you guys even want to delete the kid, man. Like, I mean, it's like guys saying, men saying, oh, yeah, we want to have the right to delete our own family. It's, it's stupid, man. Like, think about it, folks. Make no sense. Makes no sense. 
No, child's not a man. No. <laughs> what? 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 That would wait. <laughs> see, see, trying to shame him. Masculine then. I think that's just like a women's role, though, that men are not capable of. So. There we go. A little female over here in the middle. She's not saying anything. And these two bras have to just jump in and try to save her. I mean, you are doing. I hope he just caught cash on that. Couple as a woman. And you are risking no, your life. No, men are expected to do this for strangers' children and strangers' women. Otherwise, we would not have the lifeboat analogy, would we? Doogity! I think it's also kind of like a dangerous thing, though. I think, because... uh, like, you should answer to what I actually just said. Which Damn. is, why do we have the lifeboat analogy that women and children get on the lifeboats Oh, I'm not disagreeing first? with it's you. Not my, that's, those aren't my women and my children. Why do they get on the lifeboats first? I'm not disagreeing with you that that's... Okay, so that's the end of the conversation. I don't know what you're trying to say for her because now you, she's looking back. And folks, she still hasn't said anything. She still hasn't said anything. It's a man's role, but I'm just saying that I do think that a woman going through childbirth is an example of her doing something that's risking her life on behalf of a man. Oh, I guess they're so. not doing it on behalf of men. Demonstrate you're doing it on behalf of your husband. You're doing it on behalf of your husband who put the child inside no, of you. No, you're not doing it. First of all, most childbirths are not even done anymore by the husband. Why? Half these chicks get knocked up by some random guy they never even talk to again. How Why? are they doing it on behalf of men? Why do women and children get in the lifeboat? Because men have always been sacrificial lambs on behalf of other men and women and children. Because you're the weaker sexes and you both, <laughs> both women and children. Look, you laugh. How am I wrong? Are, I'm sorry, are women the stronger or weaker sex? Does it have anything to do with women and children can inform the future more so than men? Like children no. can grow up to be How men so? to one sacrifice man, and women. One man can... can repopulate against 50 women, but women are limited to only being able to be pregnant from one man at a time. Yes, so but no, there have that to argument be women. makes no sense either. But there have to be the women. The truth is, is that a one single man could repopulate the earth. One woman could not. One single man could repopulate the entire planet Earth. As long as Every there were women day, there. You could screw a different Man, they really hate men. Wow, this is crazy. They want to neglect the importance of being a man. See here, here guys, so listen. It's not that females are important, right? Women are women are important. We do agree on that, right? We do agree on that. Put it in the comment section below. They want to negate the importance of men. You know why? Simple. They think they are better than men. They think they're the queen. They are above us. That's why they come up with these common arguments, folks. That's what it is. Kick and impregnate her. A woman cannot do that. But so that's no, why we need each women, other. When you talk about the necessity of the future, a single woman could not be necessary to the future, whereas a single man could be. Yeah, I agree that men and women should. They, be. they go back to that egalitarian argument. I'm telling you, folks, they do not want to admit that men are necessary. They don't want to admit it. On earth. <laughs> Both of them. Oh, uh, well, I mean, that's yeah. great. What a great argument. I also yeah. agree that they deserve to be on Earth. Yeah, men are stronger, but argument. they need women. And there and we go. I agree men. that the whatever podcast studio should have windows. I mean, I, I don't know yeah, what, what that is. I agree as well. About, so. Yeah, we, we both know, need each other, right? No. So, it's the other way yeah, around. Well, yeah, okay, but this has nothing to do with my argument. This has nothing to They're do with They're scared. They're scared. Oh, you can have the so argument. here's my argument. You... Ready? I'm going to tell you my argument again because you just don't seem to understand it, right? Men collectively lay their lives down for women. Women collectively do not lay their lives what down What about for women, women in the military? God, what about them? Are they Are not lying? I'm sorry. What about, what do you about think it? that the military is made up of mostly men or women? No, I'm just speaking about these specific women in the military. Mm -hmm. are, who are yeah, they like? What is what is what do you think the word collectively means? I'm asking you a question, yeah. Andrew. I'm asking you women what in do you the think military. The word collectively means? Women in the military. Restate my argument. I'm restating my question. Yeah. Uh, women yeah. in the military. I need you to contend with the <laughs> argument okay. you made first. Can you restate okay. my argument? This has nothing first? to do with what I'm talking about. Can you restate my argument? Your argument is that women do not lay their lives down for men. Wait, women in the, the military have signed no, up to. That's not my argument. You're lying yes, to Yes, the collective group of women in the military. Mean? Collectively, the group of them. The the group, what does the word collective mean? The group of women in the military, that would be the collective of women in the military, oh, are what laying I'm their lives down. That is a collective of women. 
Okay, so just to get this right, just get this right. I just want to make sure that we're correct here. Let's let let's us assume make sure. for a second that if we're looking at all the prisons in the United States with prison guards, and you have one prison that has more female guards than men, but all the other prisons have more male guards than they do women. When you say the word, who collectively make up the most amount of prison guards? Okay, the majority. You would say, you would say well, yes, it's men, except in this one prison. Who gives a shit? It has no, no bearing on the argument at all. Okay, so women in the military are not laying their lives down for men. They're though. not in the front line. If you have one or two, yeah, that's fine. Hey, thank you for your service. But they're not the one... Oh, they're not the majority of these cases. This is a stupid argument. No, Only exactly laying their lives not. down for American exactly women. Not. I'll tell you what. Give me a war. Name any war you want. And I'm going to tell you the combat deaths of women in that war from being in the Let's military. Let's speak in present times. <laughs> When, let's present. speak in present any, time. Any present war. Any There's, present war. I'm talking about present wars that we are. Yeah, go ahead. Present wars too. Okay. Any present war. Go ahead. Okay, I think that you're just upset that, that I, I disproved your point. And it's okay. No, you haven't given anything. Man, you... Mm. It's okay. It's war. okay. It's okay. See, they're, they're defending her. They're defending her because, hey, she's trying to defend her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. She look like a dumb, 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 mature person, man. She's supposed to be the wiser in the room. Remember this, guys. But she knows that she's feeling upset. Therefore, she had to jump in. Man. That's why you, you need to check her. See, this was so important. See, this is what happened. Ugh. This is what happened when you don't check bros like her. See, they just... A perfect moment to even go viral, folks. Perfect moment to go viral. Stop interrupting. The, uh, the question is not for you. Stop interrupting. Go ahead, lady in the middle. No, 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 just kick her out. That's it. This was so important. And when you kick her out, I can guarantee you the other ones are going to be set up straight. But they're still laughing, they're giggling. Andrew, Andrew cannot take care of this kind of uh, environment because he has no control. They're laughing at him, you know, all that stuff. Like, it's not okay, man. Because remember, they work good. As a group setting, because chain tactic for them is very strong. Man, let me know what you guys think. I will see you next.